Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Bidaya Screencast. Today we are dealing with certain Quranic selections that we've chosen as uh, a transition from the book to reading Quran, inshallah. This is the first step for the student after completing all eight chapters, including the final test, inshallah. And we've selected certain surahs that cover all the concepts and don't uh, provide too big of a jump for the student and it's not a shock for the student when reading these surah because a lot of the words we used in the book can be found in these surahs as well as the ayahs are relatively short and inshallah let's get into the details let's start with surah al-waqi'ah uh, this surah is special with its three worded ayahs in the beginning the verses are made of three words so the student this look, should look very familiar. The student right away knows if necessary, he or she can split it word by word and then connect all three words. Also, the reason we use color coding, uh, every other word is a different color because a very, very common mistake or common confusion among students is they don't know where the word ends. For example, they will read this word, let's say, or let's say they're reading... Um, for example, the student won't know where to, this word ends and where the next one begins, and especially with words such as um, here, the student might get confused of whether it's one word, where, which syllables to break it up into, so the color coding avoids all of these problems, inshallah. Also, something to note about uh, Surah Al-Waqi'ah, it's covering every single concept we've learned thus far through the eight chapters. Uh, starting from the first line, we have all, all the words have harakat, and we have different forms of ta, we have tanween, we also have uh, shadda, we have sukun in these letters, we have uh, near the end of the page, we have longer, more complicated words such as mawduna that include the wow as well as the tanween with sukun and shadda and inshallah these can help the student review everything we've learned before in a way that's not too intimidating because the ayahs are relatively short and something we uh, want you should we want you to take note of is that we chose surah al-waqi'ah and for example not juz amma or commonly memorized surah because it's not correct to test the student on something he or she knows from memory because they will find it too easy and this is not testing the reading skills it's just testing their previous memorization so al-waqi'ah is a good choice for this purpose inshallah and as you can see the second page has some of the same concepts we're aiming for it includes shadda it includes the ignored alif it includes also alif, small alif, all the different concepts. Again, at the same time, keeping short ayahs with uh, longer, more challenging words within the ayahs, like la mabaruthuna. Also, uh, al waqiah is very special for the excess amount, the large amount of tanween being used in the surah. This is very good practice for the student. And now let's move to the next surah, which is Al-Najm. Al-Najm also has shorter ayat, and it's a very good review of the Alif Maqsura in the surah. And uh, again, uh, this is not as commonly memorized as the shorter surahs in Juz Amma, so this will serve as a challenge for the student, but not too much of an abrupt shift, inshallah. Also in Al-Najm, we have... Um, in addition to the test on Alif Maqsura, we have the small Alif on top of a Wow, a very good sampling. For example, the Lam Shamsiya without an Alif, just two Lams. And we have different symbols for uh, Mad. We have several concepts that if the student does not review these right away by reading the Surah after finishing the book, they might be lost after learning them. So we chose surahs that are very rich and diverse in the rules and the 
symbols and vowels such as the small yet so that they're put into practice immediately after finishing the book and moving on to the next surah we have surah al-jinn and surah al-jinn is uh, particularly useful for the makharij for pronouncing the letters correctly and especially letters that are soft and hard next to each other such as rasada rasada tests the student on the first half being hard and the second half of the word da being soft and similarly we have the word rahaqa uh, you can see fazaduhum rahaqa we have uh, hard then soft then hard then soft this is a very good practice and training for the student for reading more complicated words and making sure he or she does not forget the characteristics of the letters they're reading and as moving forward inshallah after surah al-najm we include um, surat uh, after surat al-najm we had al-jinn and now we have finally the last page of Surah Al-Jinn which includes several examples again all of these ayat just these alone uh, contain most of the rules we learned throughout the book so more and more practice inshallah will help such as the med on top of the small ya and the small alifs in this word and the unique alif that's skipped again maintaining the color coding technique and with this, alhamdulillah, the student is fully prepared to move on to the Qur'an after completing these small surah. And uh, before we know it, he or she will begin memorizing. Please stay tuned for future uh, materials for memorizing Qur'an. Inshallah, we can design a new curriculum for that. Uh, please uh, keep us in your dua. These videos are brought to you by your brother Muhammad Salah. Please keep us in your dua, inshallah. And may Allah make it easier for us as well as you. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.